everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get nine rare Pokemon in the Obsidian Fieldlands. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure to hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. And hit that subscribe button. Let's get on into the video. Okay, so the first Pokemon that we're going to get is Eevee. We've talked about this in the starter video multiple times, and a lot of you guys have seen it, but it is considered a rare spawn. So I'm just going to go ahead and include it in this video. I see Eevee right over here. Chucked it at Eevee. There it is. All right, Eevee caught. So Eevee's right over here, again, by Horseshoe Plains, by this little first one on the top left. Let's move on to the next one. The next rare Pokemon that we're going to be hunting is known as Munchlax, the baby evolution of Snorlax. So we're going to go the baby evolution, the baby form before Snorlax. And we're going to be seeing these two Krikatoons here. What you want to do is essentially just get rid of these two. They're going to see you and run away. And if they don't run away, just, you know, just miss your Pokeballs. All right. <laughs> just go catch them, and they should be gone. And then we're going to wait for nighttime because Munchlax has a higher rate of spawning, and we don't want other things in the area when we are trying to get this Munchlax. Okay, so everything's clear here. Whoa. I don't know where this guy came from. Okay, so I knocked out. It is nighttime. We're going to go check on the spot again. Do we have a Munchlax? Nope. Krikatoon spawned. Okay, we caught the Krikatoons. It is now daytime again, and we're going to see if Munchlax has spawned. Oh, baby, Munchlax has spawned. There we go. That took a bit, but you know what? There it is. We're just going to bait it, and I want to catch this thing. Here we go. And we got it. Munchlax caught. So essentially, just keep knocking out Krikatoons, going to nighttime, if a Krikatoon spawns again, knock it out, then go back, sleep again, let it go to daytime, and Munchlax will eventually spawn if you do that. The next two Pokemon that we're going to be focusing on is Chimchar and its evolution, Monfernape. And they're going to be located at the top of Deer Track Heights. So you want to head over to Deer Track Heights right over here around this rock area. And they usually spawn during the day and during sunny and foggy weather. If there are other Pokemon that are spawned here, make sure to catch them or scare them off. I don't see anything here right now, and it hasn't spawned. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go sleep till night, heading towards this spot. And there, oh my gosh, finally. Okay, there is Chimchar right over there. So we're going to go ahead to that Chimchar very slowly. And catch it. All right, all done. Chimchar is caught. No Monferno yet, so we're going to have to keep resetting till the Monferno. So... Let's go ahead, wait till the morning, and see what spawns. It's the next morning. I've, I've done this a couple of nights and days already. <laughs> I'm getting so tired of this. Hopefully, it's this time. Whoa! <laughs> Is that Alpha? No, shut up. Hey, it's Alpha and Baby? No way. Okay, that was the best. No, that's Alpha Monferno and regular Monferno. Look at the size difference between those two. Oh, what is the chances of that happening? Okay, great. So I got both of them to spawn. All right, let's catch this. Here we go. It just like rushed at me. One, two, three, four. Get behind it and... Yes, Alpha Monferno is caught. Okay, there's another Monferno there too. So we're going to just get both of them while we're here. And again. All right. <laughs> Both Monfernos are caught. That was, that was, I'm so happy I was recording when I got that. Oh, baby, that was awesome. So that's how you catch Monferno. It was a little, little longer for me to record, but that's how you get it. So the next Pokemon that we're going to be getting is Mime Jr. And Mime Jr. is located a lot in population in the Sand Gem Flats, but is pretty rare at the Horseshoe Plains. You might get like one spawning up here, but if you just go down Aspiration Hill, you should be able to see your Mime Juniors. And as you can see, there are about two here right now, and I'm going to try to get it. So let's go ahead and try to catch them. I'm going to throw a berry out, head over to the berry. It's delicious. We got to go for that nice back attack. All right, Mime Junior is caught just like that. So just come down to San Jim Flats and you'll get another baby Pokemon here. The next Pokemon that we're going to be hunting is Hapini, a rare baby Pokemon that's going to eventually evolve into Chansey and then Blissey. Now you can either go in this cave and find it in the center under rare condition spawning, or we can head up this mountaintop here, which I always have a hard time getting. There we go. Okay, and... Or we can head up this... There we go. Head up this mountain spot. 
and it might spawn over here on top of this hill or we can go further down so head down this pathway if you don't see it over there just want to make sure you check the whole entire place until you say it's not there and then alpha blissey's over there okay okay oh there it is it's right over there. there's a peeny right by alpha blissey area so we're just gonna go ahead and sneak up on it gonna throw some food for it and no alpha blissey please don't do that ignore the fact that i'm catching the baby okay we got it and we're safe <laughs> and we're out of here adios goodbye but yeah this is where you're going to be getting hapini again if it doesn't spawn right away just reset at the camp now this next pokemon that we're gonna get is my favorite out of all the rare pokemon it is located above on this cliff here and we're gonna try to do a little strat here to get up here with word deer so we have alpha snorlax just looking at us he doesn't look too happy that we're trying to climb up here but i'm just gonna go up here on this this might be a hard way there might be easier ways to climb but that's the way i go i go on that little ore then i just go up here like this and then you want to head all the way to the edge by that tree if there are any pokemon in the way all you have to do is just stun them or fight them and catch them i prefer just to stun them you can use regular mud if you choose one two three Oop. And that's like that. It is done. Spoiled Apricorns also work. So go ahead. You can catch it. Or if you got a sticky glob, it's just one hit. But this is a little more expensive to use sticky globs. Okay, then we're going to go down here. Closest to the edge. Right at this peak. You're going to aim at Togekiss as it's spinning around. Wait for that Wait for that right sweet spot. And right there. If it does break out, just chuck another one back to back. Okay, broke out. I'm going again. Just I'm throwing all my feather balls here. It broke out again. And just keep chucking. If you got a bunch of feather balls, this is the best. So you don't have to use the expensive balls. I'm trying to use the cheap balls to see if we can catch it with the cheap balls. It's not being caught yet. It's all good. We eventually will get it. Okay, we got it. There we go. With the easiest feather balls, we were able to get the Togekiss. And that is a very OP Pokemon. The next Pokemon that you can get early is Pichu. And you can find Pichu at the east of Aspiration Hill. There's also a spot where you can find it at Nature's Pantry, but this is the first place that I bumped into it. I also have footage of me bumping into an alpha one, so I'm going to go ahead and just open up my screen to that. This footage is from my previous video, how to get all 18 alpha Pokemon, and as I was running, an alpha Pichu <laughs> just showed up in that video in the exact same spot as where you get it early, and I was like, dude, wait, alpha Pichu, this thing looks absolutely insane. Look at this thing. I was missing. I was throwing balls all over the place. I was so confused because... It's Alpha Pichu. So after throwing some sticky globs at it, I was able to catch it. But you can get regular Pichu that spawns here. And you have a small percentage of getting an Alpha Pichu. So I do have an Alpha Pichu. And I will showcase this at the end of the video. And that's how you catch Pichu. Okay, so the final Pokemon that we're going to be hunting is Cherubi. And this one is extremely difficult because its spawn is very dependent on competing with Combis. Also, it's going to be very tree specific. So... It's going to be very difficult. So what you want to do is head over to the Grand Tree Arena. And then you're going to search only in the heartwood. So you see the lower land area over here. All these trees on the bottom part. You want to search all of those. Now, what you specifically want to do is not look for any tree. But focus on the trees with fruits in them. So basically, these kind of trees. Look for shaking trees that look like this. And it's going to take you probably... Some people might take 5 hours. Some people might take 10 hours. I've seen someone on the internet said he took like 30 hours. So it's, it's rough out here, dude. If we check all the fruit trees and none of them are shaking, what you have to do is exit out of here. So what you're going to have to do is go to camp. And there's, no, there's none shaking here. Go back to the field land camp or any camp that you, of your choice. And just go ahead, head back into Jubilee Village. And then you're going to reload and come back out. As soon as you go to Jubilee Village, come back out. Go back to the area. Search the trees. Then if it's nothing there, go back out. Come back. Search the trees. Keep doing this process over and over again. This makes this Pokemon one of the hardest ones to get in the game. Obsidian Fieldlands actually has the highest percentage of it happening. So good luck on catching this. And, and here we go. Okay, so we finally got a tree shake. I'm going to go ahead. And if it's not a Cherubi, I'm going to be very upset. We have a tree that is shaking really close to Alpha Lopunny. And something's telling me we're going to be lucky here. Oh! Yes! This took like an hour! To two hours to do! Straight! I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I'm just going to catch it. 
What a pain in the butt Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Look at that new. I didn't even catch it. This tutorial video, video had me catching it because it's that rare. Wow. It's done. I'm, I'm talking to my wife. Whenever I look to the right side, it's my wife sitting on a chair like, Finally, you're done, Phil. I'm putting that in. Okay, all saved. I got it. I'm out of here. Well, there you go. That's how to get all nine rare Pokemon in the Obsidian Field Lands. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. My name is Philly Beats You. Again, thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, and help me out as I put a lot of effort into these videos. And I will see you into into, into the next space time rift in the next video because we're going to the future for the next video, right? Right, okay, goodbye, bye, peace.